So Jacob goes back to Esau, and he's terrified. Even though it's been 14 years, he thinks maybe his hot-headed brother hasn't calmed down yet. And he has good reason to think that, I would say. So he sends messengers to Esau, who then sets out with 400 men. And so Jacob is not very happy with this whole idea. And he breaks his people into two bands so that maybe half of them cannot be killed. And then he takes from his large flocks a bunch of animals and a bunch of servants, and he sends them out to meet Esau, basically to say, look, I'm, I'm, I'm a jerk, and uh, sorry about the whole birthright thing, and here's some animals, and, you know, maybe that's the beginnings of an apology. It's something like that. But he's not very convinced that that's actually going to work. But Esau, who actually turns out to perhaps have matured in the interim, meets Jacob and says that just seeing him is enough. But Jacob insists that he takes the gift, and Esau accepts. Which is probably a wise thing, because even if Esau is 95% convinced that just seeing his brother is enough, there's probably 5% of him that's still really not all that happy. So you have to be careful, you know, when you say that you forgive someone, because there might be a part of you that really doesn't, that really needs something else before you can actually say, okay, look, fine. You know, and you don't want to fool yourself about that, because that 5% that hasn't been completely convinced, will find its voice at some point and then maybe undermine the whole reconciliation process. So you don't want to think that you're any better than you are or any nicer than you are. It's not helpful. Esau is smart, I think. So while Jacob's smart to say, no, no, like, thanks a lot, but take the damn goats. And <laughs> Esau is smart enough to accept that. And he might do that maybe to please Jacob but also, I think, so that there really is the possibility of establishing peace. Because, hypothetically, the gift that's being offered is of sufficient magnitude to erase the debt of the loss of the birthright. It's the payment of the real debt. Hey, before you go, there's something you should know about. Hi, I'm Chance. I made the video that you just watched. And believe it or not, I'm actually in discussions right now with Dr. Peterson himself about making more videos like this. Um, But I need your help. Uh, if you really like this kind of content, you like like these kinds of videos, and you'd like to see a whole bunch more of them made, then I need you to make some noise so that we can let Dr. Peterson know that his fans want this content. There are a couple different ways you can do that. Number one, like, share, and subscribe on this channel and push the metrics on this video up as high as you can. That'll both thank our channel sponsor, who is... Uh, you know, distributing this experiment for us and getting this video in front of you, which we're really grateful for. But if you especially say in the comments that you like these videos, the more comments we get back, the more convincing that's going to be to the Jordan Peterson team. They are going to be watching the metrics on this video to make a determination of how they want to invest those resources. The second way that you can make some noise to head over to our website where we're just starting a new online community to help people learn how to make these videos so you guys can get involved and actually be helping us to produce them. We have several different flavors that you can can do. You can subscribe to the, the forum to learn how to make the videos and to be involved in the production process. You can use Patreon and subscribe to Patreon if you're still on there and you like that better, or you can donate directly to the project through PayPal. Any of those contributions is going to do a lot to help convince Dr. Peterson that these videos are something that you guys want. So, Thank you so much for watching. Please push the metrics on this video. Head over to the website and and join the community. I'm really excited. We're just launching the community now. Um, So we're getting started, and we need you early adopters in there helping me to figure out exactly how to build everything and set it up so that it's going to be awesome. Anyway, I'm sorry. I talk fast. Bye.